So today, I well yesterday I drove to Prince George and I picked up my mom this morning and we are on a girls road trip. We are off to uh, Rocky Mountain House to drop off my trailer for warranty work and then I've rented a motorhome and we're taking that out to Saskatchewan to see my daughter and her family and then back to Edmonton to see my son and his family and then we will come back and meet up with Curtis here in Hinton. He'll pick up the trailer from Rocky Mountain House and then we're traveling back to BC and going to Juniper Beach fishing with my mom and dad. My dad will come down from Prince George and meet us. So uh, this is a once in a lifetime trip. Tonight we're overnighting in Hinton, Alberta. We're at the Jasper Hinton KOA. It's really nice and I highly recommend it. Extremely well maintained and just a really nice place to stay. They have a great dog park. Um, and tomorrow we are at Rocky Mountain House. Um, my mom has agreed to be filmed. So uh, we'll be capturing some footage off of the dash cam and our truck cam and then um, we'll be doing some talks with her tomorrow. You know we're doing the YouTube channel. Yes, I do. Okay. Am I allowed to film us? Oh yeah. You're okay with that? Yeah. That you've been on YouTube? Yeah. Okay. I'd like to stay just for five minutes, please. Well, I just thought this was kind of a fun trip. Well, it'll give you every food. Yes. So forever. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be on YouTube forever. You'll all the TV again. Look at the video. Yeah, Curtis is like, you think you have a line? But I don't think she'll mind. But I said, I'm going to ask her to be sure. I'm not going to post her on YouTube and her be like, what? <laughs> oh, it's a picture of my hair. It's beautiful. <laughs> You'll be doing makeup. Yeah. And <laughs> oh, not like that part. What gets me oh, to what? Here they come. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're up on the rocks too there, Mom. Oh, See? yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. This is the little one. Look at the one laying down on the rock. Where? Do you see it? Oh yeah, right there. Dogs see him. Yeah, Huxley saw him. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> it's like when we pass cows, he's always looking and then he looks at us like, did you see it? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Uh, above we find the Good, I'm glad you saw some sheep. And somewhere behind us there are people in the vehicle going, Oh, for pity's sake, there's sheep! Drive! <laughs> What do you have to do? I didn't have to go through the dirt. Good to be able to get through the dirt. He said it's not as bad as it looks. They really should. Oh no, we're good, Mom. This trailer's really high, and even if I bump a little bit, I'm okay. So 
harder to get into the calf from right there. Hey, how the hell am I going to get in that? I'll make it up. Thank you. <laughs> yep. So, Mama? Yes? How's your trip? My trip has been fabulous so far. You've survived all the driving? Yes, I did. I didn't scare you too bad? You never scared me at all. Good, good. Oh, you're a very good driver. I felt very comfortable, confident, and good. relaxed. Good, good. And so, how do you find traveling with dogs? Actually, it's not bad. Except for when maybe Huxley shakes his head. Yes. Then you got this mountain of hair floating around <gasps> you, and then the little goobers that droop every now and again of a smelt are not very nice. But... <laughs> so, where are we going tomorrow? Where are we going tomorrow? <laughs> uh, where are we going tomorrow? Oh, Saskatoon. Yes, in our little. Little foot, motorhome. <laughs> with two dogs. With two dogs, two adults. It should be very interesting. It should be fun. <laughs> okay, so I've just picked up our Ford Mini Motorhome. It's uh, gosh, it's a little, and she's loud. Uh, driving down the road in this thing is like crinky, crinky, crinky. which is crazy, but it is our motorhome for the day, or I guess not for the day, but for the week. And it smells like curry. It's very, um, I think it's had some amount of use on it. It has some great storage. These bins are quite large and it has a little tiny trickle charging solar panel a fridge which is more than big enough for mom and I and humongous closet actually for I don't know if you can actually see but that's like way deeper than my arm way 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 deeper so it's actually pretty big um, wow what a what a difference from <laughs> from my trailer but that's okay this is an adventure and it's it's gonna be fun it does have a microwave um it has an all-in one wet bath which yeah, is not ideal but that's fine in a 20-foot motorhome you're not gonna get a big bathroom this will be my sleeping quarters and my mom will be sleeping on the dinette in the back so yeah, it's good. It's, um, it'll be an adventure. There's not a lot of power. I gotta remember I cannot pull out quick because it doesn't go quick. But boy, does it squeak. So mom, first impressions. Different. <laughs> <laughs> How's the noise? Well, like I say, once you get the road noise and all that stuff, it, you can't even really hear all this squeaking and cracking and banging. <laughs> <laughs> she, 
She's loud, very, very loud. But it's good. Good. Like I, I'm quite comfortable riding in this little thing. Mm -hmm. And it's a little crowded when we all get in here, but it's not bad. So Huxley has been in big trouble twice today for once for trying to crawl in between me and this council towards the gas puddle. He got in trouble once for that. And he just got into major trouble oh, about 10 minutes ago as I tried to pull into that gas station and he decided to go under my arm behind my back and lock my arm that I couldn't turn. So that didn't go very well. It's been a long day with getting the motor home and then checking in and then now um, we're still on the road and we have an hour just over an hour I guess to get to the campground we're staying at Camp Land RV Park which is just west of Saskatoon I've stayed there before it's a but it's neat and tidy and it's all pull through sites and you know exactly what to expect and the people are great and so it's a good stopover site and then finally tomorrow we will be at Lexi's little stressful this afternoon with the dogs. Didn't enjoy that at all. Lost my temper with my dog. Not something I normally do, but yeah, I definitely lost my temper with him. Um, he scared the snot out of me that I couldn't move my arm. So, uh, word to the wise, be very careful when you are driving with your dogs in RVs because they can cause accidents quick as quick can be. Well, she's miserable skies and my mom and I are about to hit the road. Granny is just saying goodbye to everyone. There's our little fish box that we're traveling in. It is beautiful here. People who say Saskatchewan is not beautiful, it's just flat land. I'm sorry, you've just not been to Saskatchewan. The land here is just gorgeous and and it, uh, it's rolling hills and bush and trees and it's just, it's so pretty. Today is cloudy and just doesn't do it justice. All right, Mrs. Fritz. Granny, are you going to throw rope? Oh, sure. <laughs> that one's not too bad, Mom. Well, I'll ask you, how was your visit with Lane and Lexi and Loretta? It was absolutely wonderful. Couldn't ask for a better visit. And it was wonderful to see Lane and Lexi and to finally meet Loretta Lynn. Awesome. That was the highlight of all of it. It was just beautiful. And I'm so happy that I did get to see her. Awesome. Yeah. That's good. And what do you think of, We've this is our second night. We stayed once on the way out and one on the way in of Campland RV Resort. It's actually very nice. I kind of like how the place is laid out. Mm -hmm. I like the spaciousness of it all. It's good. Your updated opinion of the motorhome? It's still noisy. <laughs> I don't think that's ever going to be anything different to say about it. No. But I have to admit, I sleep quite comfortably in it. That's good. Yeah. Toilet's a little bit tough because it's a big toilet for a little person. So let me ask you, do your feet touch? No. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely do not. To the point that my upper thigh gets pinched off and gets pins and needles in it. <laughs> Where are we off to next? We are heading to Edmonton to see Thomas, Julianne, and the three little munchkins. Awesome. Awesome. And yeah. then we'll meet up with Curtis, and then you're going to finally see your husband in Juniper Beach. Yes. 
it's going to be good. He must be missing him. I am. Yeah. And I know he's missing me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what was your take on our trip yesterday? Good. Yeah? Like, very good. 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 Yeah, it was terribly it, windy. Oh, definitely that. And it uh, looked like it was really going to storm, which was kind of scary. But other than that, I thought yesterday's trip was a lot more relaxing than, well, at least for me, maybe not for you because <laughs> of the wind, but I thought it was better than previous days. Right. Good. Yeah. Good, good. And uh, how much did you think about tornadoes yesterday when I you saw it? Yeah. <laughs> I kept watching the horizon to see if I could see a funnel start. And if there was, I'd be yelling at you. I knew you were looking. <laughs> All right, yeah. we're off to Edmonton and we'll do a video update and pictures with the kids there. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Well, it is the night before I am dropping off the motorhome. And as you can see, it is complete and utter chaos. I am emptying out cupboards and cleaning out stuff and everything is just destroyed which is just normal right it's like any camping trip coming to an end everything is just chaos yes I have wine to help me through um, I got to show you this little bathroom I don't know if I showed it before so this bathroom is a wet bath and it's it's pretty bad the um the commode is up on a bit of a pedestal and i'm 5'4 and my toes barely touch and as we'll see in another video my mom her toes do not touch it has an aroma that is uh, rather unappealing the 12 volt fan does not work i have to let them know that um the the 12 volt ports in the front, those ones there do not work. They're dead. We had to, we found, after we got to Saskatchewan, we found that there's a port in the glove box. That's what we've been using for our trusty dash cam, which got us some awesome granny cam. Uh, yeah. Overall, I'm not complaining. I'm really glad I rented it because I always thought that one of these little, uh, motorhomes for zipping around would be fantastic and uh, they are for a weekender I think for a family just going out for the weekend that's great for a road trip and I know lots of people rent them they are unbelievably loud deafening shake your bones loud they are also extremely unstable in wind um, we of course traveled out to Saskatchewan wicked winds in the prairies like there always is and let me tell you, my neck, my arms, and my shoulders, well, <laughs> they don't feel very nice. All right, today is our last day with Motorhome. We return it tomorrow. We're not driving it anymore. Last impressions of the Motorhome. It's a noisy little thing. Very noisy little thing. But in a lot of ways, it was kind of good because we could at least sleep in here at night. We didn't have to worry about pulling into a place with it because it was very easy to park and everything. That's true. And we had the convenience of the toilet. Didn't like the shower idea in there. But, no. <laughs> but overall, I thought it... Other than the noise, it was actually comfortable, I thought. Yeah. yeah. You found the passenger seat comfortable, right? I did. It good. was perfect. It fit me. It was just like it was made for me. It was good. Good. And what do you think of the build quality of it? So this is this is an adventurer. Uh, I don't think I want to go on a really long adventure with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, but, well, maybe if you were on better roads, like we had pretty rough roads, all right. So maybe yeah. if you were on better roads, it might not be that you wouldn't have that constant rattling noise in your head all the time. Yeah, it was almost a drone, wasn't it? Yes. Like it just, it was really loud. Yeah. What's the highlights and what do you think? 
well definitely the highlight was going to Saskatchewan and seeing like seeing Lane and Loretta mm -hmm. I mean that that was a very important part of the trip for yeah. sure but the overall trip I think has just been fantastic I'm enjoying the visit here with Thomas Julianne and the three little munchkins because <laughs> that Adelia is something else eh? <laughs> and Sam is so open this time and so is Ezra like it's been a really good visit and I've enjoyed my adventure with you I've liked the fact that we have been able to spend this time together. Yes. I think that's just fantastic. So I'm very appreciative of that. Yeah. No, it's been awesome. And that's are you going to go fishing when we hit Juniper Beach? Uh, I don't know. No. I'm not a good fisherman. You don't have to be good. If you had to be good, nobody would fish. Yeah, well, <laughs> you get me with you guys, you'd be all telling me to get lost. After we pull the hooks out of our heads. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> I like fly fishing. I don't want to catch anything. I just want to do that motion with the rod. But you can do that. If yeah. Curtis is able to get our fly rods, then yeah, you can do that. Yeah, but there again, you have to be all away from me. <laughs> so tomorrow I pick up my truck, and when we head to Hinton, we're in the pickup. How much are you looking forward to the oh, pickup? I'm really looking forward to it. The only downfall is getting in it and out of it. <laughs> I do have to catch that. I do have to record that because that is pretty priceless. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I think we're going to, this will be part one of our two part of our road trip of because our... the second part will be Juniper Beach yes. when we leave here and then go to Hinton and then go to Juniper Beach with fishing and that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> it's been been really nice here at Lane and Lexi's. It's been really relaxing and we just visited and poor Loretta's teething and she had a rough day today. Um, you know, years to come she'll see this video and uh, it's her first time that great granny met her and great granny was just enamored with her. It was awesome. What a blessing. To be able to do this trip and I am so blessed to have such an amazing husband who just completely supported. Oh sure, drop off your trailer and go into another RV. <laughs> Travel across the country. So Mom's not well. And this has been a real blessing to have this trip. Do you have this time with her and for her to see her great grandkids and her grandkids and for her and I to just have this time. It's been a real blessing and uh, I'm so thankful that because we have sold our house that we're in this position that I can do this for her and for me it's as much for me 